Hello there, Tim Lewis here, back in the studio. I thought I'd take a couple of minutes and talk about five Adobe Premiere keyboard shortcuts that I use uh, to help speed up my editing process. Now these are editing uh, keyboard shortcuts that I use every single day, so I hope that when you utilize them, it'll make your editing process just that much quicker. So let's get started with number one. Number one, Command D. So before we get started, I use a Mac, so my control is command. Um, so you'll, one, if you hear me say commands, that means you should be clicking control if you're using a Windows or PC. Um, so let's get started. All right, so what we have here is just a, a previous project of mine, just for uh, example here. Um, so if we go, first off, if we go over here to effects and search transition, um, and just scroll down here. Oh, where is it? Oh yeah, right here. Uh, under video transitions, uh, you can see cross dissolve is highlighted with a blue over it. That means that's your default transition. Now to change that, you quite simply just right click whatever transition you want, and then say select as default transition. Um, I'm gonna keep mine as cross dissolve because I use that the most often. So let's say you wanna quickly cross dissolve between one clip and the other. Uh, so what you do here is just click in between these clips and hit Command D, and that creates the default transition. And then from there, you can adjust the size, to adjust the length. It's just that simple. Now, since I like you guys, I'm gonna give you a, a bonus keyboard shortcut. Uh, so let's say that you wanna do a default transition for audio. Um, let's say you wanna do a transition between these two audio clips. Just click in between, and you hit Command, Shift, D, boom and that's your default transition for audio. Number two, let's say that you have an effect on one of the clips and you wanna copy that effect or all of the effects on that clip and then paste it onto every other clip. Let me show you how to do that. So you go over to, let's say, um, let's give some RGB curves. I wanna make this really red because I'm really angry. Arr! And, um, Let's say, let's give it a, let's say, let's give you an audio effect too. Um, let's do a high pass filter. Um, we'll stick that on there as well. Now mind you, this video clip is linked with this audio clip, so um, keep that in mind. So, let's say, boom, I want to cut off at 3000 hertz. So to paste effects, simply highlight the clip with the effects. Command C to copy it. That's all you gotta hit, Command C. And then go over to the other clip and hit Command Option V. And this comes up, Paste Attributes. And this is where you can choose motion, the effects that you have, volume and all that. I just wanna paste RGB curves and high pass because I already have dynamics on the other clips. And then hit OK. It's that easy. And then once you do it the first time, you can you know, highlight the next one, Command-Alt-V, and it keeps the previous effects that you pasted on the previous clip. So that just makes it easier. So after a while, you can just go boom, boom, boom. Command-Alt-V, Enter. Command-Alt-V, Command-Alt-V, and then just keep going and keep going. I'm gonna go back because I don't want all those. Now you may be wondering, Tim, how'd you select each clip down the line so quickly and easily? Well, that's the next shortcut. Let's take a look. So this is probably the easiest keyboard shortcut. All you do is highlight the clip, hold down Command, and then down. And you're just going down the timeline, each clip. And if you want to go backwards, just hit up. Once you get really used to keyboard shortcuts, I find that my hand is always on Command, Alt, and Shift no matter what, so it just makes it that much easier to get to the keyboard shortcut that you want to get because usually it's one of those keys that you're pressing. And when I'm working, sometimes I'll use either Alt or Option. Keep in mind that's the same button. Um, I just use it because I'm you know, either comfortable with a Mac or a PC. On a Mac it's Option and on a PC it's Alt, so just keep that in mind. And speaking of Option, Alt button, that leads me to the next keyboard shortcut which is Alt and Scroll. Now many of you guys have been using plus or minus to zoom in on your timeline. Plus, 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 minus, minus, minus. Um, I don't like that because I don't have as much control. Um, you know, when you press plus, you're, there's, a, there's a certain amount that it zooms into. 
which I don't really like. It kind of messes up with my eyes. So what I do is hold down Option, Alt Option and use scroll. I'm on a Mac right now, so and I'm on a touchpad, so I'm just kind of scrolling right now while I'm holding down Option. And that just gives me a much better feeling with zooming in and everything on my timeline. So sometimes you want to change your focus from one panel or window to the other. And uh, there's a quick way of doing that. Each panel or window has its own number correlated to it. Uh, so what you do is you hold down Shift and uh, hit a certain number. So number one is your project panel. Number two, source. Number three, your timeline. Four, your program. Five, effects. Six, audio track. 7 effects, 8 media browser, 9 audio clip mixer. Now let's say that you, uh, by mistake, you close a panel. Oops, what do you do? Well, what you do is you just hit the shortcut. Hit shift and then, for the, in this case, 6 and it brings it back up. You're welcome. Another quick tip is that another thing a lot of people do is they exit out of their timeline by mistake and they say, oh my god, Tim, where did it go? It's okay, it's right there. Just hit the shortcut, command 3, and there it is. It's back and then just double click that and you're back in business. All right, so I hope those keyboard shortcuts helped. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment down below, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, make sure you subscribe and I'll give you guys some more quick tips on editing and video production in general. And uh, I'll see you guys soon, take care.